Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Hi, this is Julie Geigel. You are listening to Angel Talk Tuesday, and we are here to share a weekly energy forecast channeled. Very exciting. Channeled energy forecast. And I have the beautiful Susan Schuler with us. Good morning, Susan. And the lovely Terry Huberman. <laughs> She is rocking it with that tiger scarf. Wow, is that part of your shirt? I love that. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh my gosh, you look like a rock star. <laughs> Diva, love that. Even better, even better, Diva. <laughs> it's going to be an awesome show today. Thanks everyone for joining us here. So I'm going to have the girls mute themselves and we'll get rolling right away. Again, I'm Julie Geigel, International Psychic Medium, Trance Channeler for Archangel Metatron and Awakened Healer. And you can find me over at juliegeigel.com and on Facebook at Psychic Medium Julie. And Susan and I have an exciting class coming up, the Lightworkers Mentorship Program, our spring summer program. And this is coming up March 8th. Our registration ends on Thursday, March 1st. So if you're interested in joining us, we just have a few spots left. We would love to have you. We're going to be uh, delving a little bit deeper into spiritual healing. This is actually one of my favorite things I use it quite often in my work and I love to share it with people how you can do it for yourself and then the second uh, week we'll be talking about oracle cards how to use oracle cards and uh, you'll be given you'll be uh, you'll get special practice uh, to uh, give readings to each other and um, assistance on how to get more information when you're working with oracle cards. And then our third week, we're going to be looking at uh, pet communication, mediumship in communicating with animals. It's quite exciting. And we've got some special surprises planned for you there. And um, the fourth week, we're going to be doing a beautiful hypnosis experience to help you experience firsthand the Akasha Records. And that one is really going to be exciting. So we'd love to have you join us. You can get more information over on my website and you can go directly to Eventbrite. It is js38.eventbrite.com. Again, that was js38.eventbrite.com. All right, awesome. Okay, um, I just have to say, I've got my cat in the room with me. She wants to stay for the channeling this morning. So we are going to send the intention that she behaves herself <laughs> a little nervous about that but medicine says no worries no worries okay here we go we're going to go ahead and move into our beautiful trance channeling today okay we're going to uh, ring those tincture bells to clear out any lower fre frequencies uh, we're going to do that again here we go. Welcome. I am Metatron here in service to humanity. We are joined this beautiful day by the Pleiadians, opening to receive all that you are and all that you came here to experience. Open your heart and receive a beautiful, blessed healing 
as we let go of any blocks that are interfering with your ability to plan. And so we have come here this day to share a beautiful energy forecast with you, allowing you to create more purpose in your life, to create more peace. Your energy for this week is best spent planning and preparing there is a time to play and there is a time to plan this week we shall focus on planning And as you move into what that means for you, it is important for you to take this seriously. Again, we are here to assist you. There is a new energy on your planet, waves of light, many transmissions, of higher frequencies are being directed toward your people. This will create much change within the humanity here on Earth. And with change comes challenge for some. So to move through this change with greater ease, we encourage you to plan, to prepare, to do what you can now. So if there's anything that you have been putting off in your life, whether it's creating a will, paying off credit card debt, or taking a much needed trip, this is the time to get it done. This is the time to get your ducks in a row, as Julie likes to say. For when the storm comes, you will be prepared. And for you, there will not be the challenge and the difficulty. There will be ease and grace, much love and much light. You will be the lighthouse for many. People are being called into pods, if you will, tribes, groups of people, groups of light workers. Tune in and connect with your tribe. They will serve you well during the challenging times that are coming. Stay grounded in your truth and remember your magnificence. All of your experiences are only a perception of your reality. Choose love. Choose 
peace. And within that, you will find the freedom, the joy, the bliss among the chaos. I am Metatron, and I have spoken here this day. You are listening to Julie Geigel, channeling Archangel Metatron. We'll be back in two minutes. And coming up next is Susan Schuler channeling Jacob, a master teacher of the Akasha. Welcome back to Angel Talk Tuesday. This is Susan Schuler. Uh, as a channeler, I work with Jacob, who is a master teacher of the Akashic Records. And I first became acquainted with Jacob when I did my very first Reiki class many, many years ago, and he's been working with me ever since. Um, I'm a professional psychic medium living in the Los Angeles area. I do one-on-one -on -one readings all over the world on Skype and on the phone. And, uh, and when I do my in-person readings, they're in Santa Monica where I reside. I also do um, different demonstrations and sometimes they're psychic fun, sometimes they're mediumship. And Terry and I, my lovely co-host, and I have um, another, I should say, an event coming up. We've changed the date to March 24th. It's in Hollywood. And you can find any of the information on either of our sites. And I also do small group readings and a lovely meeting medium uh, named Jules Davis and I will be doing a small group reading uh, in April uh, on the 14th in West Los Angeles. 
And like I said, that can be found at my website. Julie, as she mentioned, she and I are teaching a light worker class. And the one thing that she didn't really talk about that much was the hypnosis. I know she, she kind of touched on it. Um, the one thing that I would like to say about Julie when she does the hypnosis, because she always runs those classes, they're really special. I've done a great deal of hypnosis in my life, and there's something truly, truly wonderful about those. So the fact that we're going into the Akasha, and that's when I work with Jacob, I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, also, the one the thing that's really wonderful about that class that she and I teach um, is the fact that so many of our students have the opportunity to get psychic readings while they're taking the class, not only because they're practicing, but then they get to utilize us as well. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Uh, any of this information may be found at my website, and my website is just simply mediumsusan.com. So let me switch gears, take a nice deep breath, take myself off video so I can just relax. And let me take a nice deep breath as I ask Jacob to step forward to see what he has to say to us today. Welcome, beautiful children of the earth. We are very pleased to be joining you today. We enjoy seeing your ever unfolding evolution and expansion. We know things have been tumultuous for some time now, but this has indeed been much needed to release your human energetic bodies. And we wish to remind you that these things take time. We also would like for you to understand that through these uncertain times are when you shall be able to learn the most. Your work here is very important, not only to your race, but to many others as well. We watch, we wait, we hold our breaths a little at times, and then we wait some more. There are those of us who come from future times to that of the time you are now residing. And we see how things could go. So we are here to do our part. And that includes finding ways to help, guide, and influence you on your daily walks. To be the best versions of yourselves that you can be. And to keep your vibrations high so those of a lower place do not have the ability to influence you. For never forget, and we say this not to frighten, but rather to illuminate. Just as there are those of us wishing to help your planet's current enlightenment, there are also others, very powerful others, doing all they can from their vantage point to control the people of the earth for their own nefarious plans. Never has the time been more important than now to use your lights to shine. Even as the daily human issues may try to drag you down, we remind you of the most powerful presence of love 
and how this can alter all things. Never fail to come from love. There may be those who surround your world with ego, for that is the way of your planet. But you have a choice every day for how you wish your heart to operate. And by choosing to love, give, empower, and spread hope and healing, it can spread like wildfire and cause a beautiful, spectacular chain reaction that burns away the hate, the need for power, and manipulation, helping to wipe out the fear. It is much easier for you to feel love and spread love when you feel safe in your world. And this leads us into today's topic. It is indeed a true adage that there is a time for everything, a time to live, a time to die, a time to spend, and a time to save. We tell you today, this is the time to prepare, save, be frugal, and be responsible. And most importantly, be sure things in your life are in order. <clears throat> You are so needed on your planet at this time. <clears throat> but unless there is a sense you hold of security in your personal world, you will not be able to rise forward and do the work you have come here to do and are prearranged and truly destined to do. This means looking into your futures and making the proper preparations, not leaving things to chance. Taking the bull by the proverbial horns and preparing every aspect of your life. Practically speaking, we see how many of you live far beyond your means. So the first part we would like to address here is the need to back away from your propaganda machines like TV, movies, advertisements and magazines. They only tell you that you must have more things to be happy. This simply is not so. They feed your ego's erroneous information that cause you to feel a greater need to spend. And now is not the time for that. Now is the time for moderation, simplifying, saving and preparing. This is Susan Schuler channeling Jacob from the Akashic Records. Up next is Terry Huberman. Thank you.
Hi guys, welcome back to Angel Talk Tuesday here. I am Terry. Hello, hello. Um, I am residing in the lovely city of angels. Isn't that ironic? Los Angeles, California. And just wanted to take a brief moment since I am still new to the show to, to say hello, introduce myself to you. I am a psychic medium and energy healer as well. And I do private one-on-one -on -one readings and I specifically work with the angelic realm doing integrated energy therapy, which is similar to Reiki in that there are acupressure points that are and hand gestures and movements that are used. Um, but it's basically what I do is I go ahead and I release and clear out all of the debris or negative imprints from your cellular DNA. Um, so go ahead, clear that out. So it works on the physical, emotional, spiritual, and mental bodies. Um, so there you go. That's the energy healing technique that I use. It's called IET. I also coach people using my intuition and various psychic abilities that I um, am blessed with. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, team, for that. And uh, just wanted to tell you a little bit of some of the things that I have upcoming. I do also teach an intuition course in which I help develop and build your already God-given gift of your intuition that you can use for day-to-day -day decisions, business, relationships, finances. And I have a course that I call GPS of the Soul. And that's coming up and it starts at the end of March and it goes through April. So you can find out that information on my website. Um, also, I will be speaking at a really great conference that is coming up and it's through the Collective Gain, which is a life coaching uh, empowerment company. And what they are going to be doing is having a lot of speakers speak that day. And it's all about living your truth. And what I'll be doing is speaking about the, your life purpose from a spiritual perspective. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. Also, um, you can find me on various channels of social media. I get out there. I am social and I like to be on media, hence social media. <laughs> so you can always get a hold of me. I'm easy to get a hold of through Twitter. I'm at Terry Huberman on Instagram. On there, I'm HypnoCutie, but even if you just plugged in for a search, Terry Huberman, you'd find me, of course, on Facebook, where I do a lot of Facebook Lives, where people can write in questions and give guidance that way. Um, that is uh, with uh, on my Facebook page, which is Terry Huberman, Intuitive Coach, and I'll often work with Paul Jasek, who's a fabulous tarot card reader. And of course, uh, the event that Susan mentioned earlier that we are working on, which is fabulous. It's so it's going to be so much fun, a lot of high energy, a lot of, lot of positivity. And that's a psychic and mediumship night where we're going to be giving messages from beyond and the afterlife and the spirit world. And that is March 24th. And details can be found either on Susan's site or my site, which is terryhuberman.com. Calm. So there you go. That's me in a small, teeny weeny tiny uh, nutshell. And what I do is I go ahead and I channel messages from the, my spirit team. And there are so many members of all different angles and areas that it's easier for me to connect with them as one collective. So that's who I call Team Terry. And that's who I channel. So I'm going to go ahead and log into them. <laughs> and bring you a message uh, for how to best use your energy for this week. So just give me just a brief moment and you'll be hearing me very, very shortly. Thank you. <sighs> Hello. Thank you once again for inviting us to speak with you and to share what we have to say to you for how to best use your energy this week in regards to the topic of your choosing, which is planning and preparation and how it can pay off for you. 
Recently, there have been many, many shifts happening in your life. Changes forcing you and placing you in areas where it's time for you to observe yourselves. These observations are allowing you to transform as you get to know yourself better. Pay attention to all rising emo emotions, acknowledging them and moving through them. For as you move through them, you move forward. And as you observe the areas of your life, you can focus on the physical, emotional, and mental aspects of your life. Where are you ready to make changes in these areas? Simply observe. In that observation, you can notice where any cleaning, clearing, or decluttering can happen. And in the observation is where that space can be created to now have a place for opportunity to go. From the observation comes the knowingness of preparation and planning. From your experiences, changes, and transformations, you know how, what, and where you want to go, which allows you to create plans. And as you are getting to know yourself better, that knowing creates those plans, those preparations, which gets you to your accomplishments in reaching your goals. These changes create constant observations for next step planning. This means you are always moving forward when you are planning. This means when you observe and plan, you are always prepared for opportunities arrival. Planning and preparing give you the confidence for the arrival of the opportunity. This week, with the full moon approaching, you have a chance to clear out and declutter to create that space for opportunity. And with that, your plans can be activated Trust that you know yourself good enough that your plans will move forward and grow through your change. Your faith in the plans is what grounds you. The plan will come to fruition because it's what it's created to do. Hi there, I'm Terry. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this message with you. And we'll be back very, very shortly for the rest of this program. Thank you.
Chris, can you hear me? I can hear you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back everyone to Angel Talk Tuesday. And we are going to go to our Facebook Live this morning. All right, and just hitting that button and here we go. It's gonna pop up any second. All right, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us on Facebook right now, welcome everyone. Uh, we are live on Facebook. We would love it if you would put your first name and where you're from in our news feed so we can give you a special shout out. Uh, we do offer beautiful healings here during our show and so what do you need help with? Let us know because we can uh, definitely jump in and uh, send a beautiful prayer, beautiful love and light for you this morning. All right, so we had some exciting messages come through for our energy forecast today. If you're just joining us now, this is Angel Talk Tuesday, and this is a weekly radio show on Ohm Times, and we love to come here our last segment of the show and uh, just kind of discuss some of the channeled messages that came through. So where is your energy best spent this week? Um, that's what we're talking about here today. And we've got Susan and uh, Terry here this morning. We're going to jump over to um, Susan. What did you like about the channeling today? Oh, I always like everything that Metatron says. It's brilliant. Um, first of all, he started off with talking about um, letting go of blocks that are interfering with our planning. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I know I have several blocks when it comes to uh, looking at things that you want to prepare for your future. Um, sometimes even getting on the phone to like talk to people about stocks and bank accounts. Like yesterday, I opened up a different bank account. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> uh, I know. So I know I'm not the only one. And just, nope. <laughs> but it's brilliant because once, like what he was saying, once you start making that move, it starts the ball rolling. And then it gives you this sense of peace. And to me, I think that's really important. And he's talking about choosing love and choosing peace. And honestly, when we're preparing for our futures like that, or even just making sure our relationships are stable, um, we're, we're setting ourselves up for just success. So I loved that, what Metatron was saying. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. I mean, we're, we are entering into some tumultuous times. I mean, and... I know Jacob mentioned too, this isn't, we don't share this to, to um, scare anybody, um, but we're wanting to help you prepare and help you plan uh, because those people who are prepared are going to have an easier transition through this uh, new consciousness that's rising up on our planet right now. And, um, it's an exciting time, so it's not anything to be fearful about. But if you've been putting it off, now's the time to get it done. Terry, any thoughts on the channeling from Metatron today? Yeah, you know, what I found interesting was when Metatron said people were being called into pods, like people tribes is actually what he said. And so that just kind of really resonated with me because I've been noticing that I've been kind of being attracted to and attracting people on a higher vibrational level. Um, and so I'm actually experiencing exactly what Metatron is saying. And so it is birds of a feather that flock together. And that um, the other thing um, that he talked about was um, the experiences of 
per like our its perception of our reality. So coming from a place of love can kind of help form that. Um, and that we will find the freedom within that. Uh, so it's like bliss amongst chaos, just trying to find the bliss amongst chaos, but as people pods. <laughs> so it's like, you know, be, be with people who are like yourself. And so I, you know, that sounded so sci-fi to me. I'm like, ooh, pods. So that caught my attention. I really connected with that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I totally, totally agree completely. Um, this really is about uh, connecting with people because you're going to get not only it's kind of twofold, you're going to get support from your tribe, um, but also it's going to help make this transition so much smoother, yes. number two. And then number three, you are creating an incredible light force as you come together and magnetize this right. collective consciousness that you create in this mastermind when you're with your like-minded people, when you're in that yeah. tribe, when you're in that beautiful, beautiful pod. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. You know, yeah. it's so funny because when I was sharing after Susan, I was going to start talking about that next. And it was like, Oh, go to Terry. And then you said exactly what I was going to be saying. psychic. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, let's uh, s switch over to Jacob. And we are going to say hello to some of our people in Facebook before we go into Jacob. Um, we've got Julia here this morning. Welcome, Julia, and Nancy, and Julie Boyle. And uh, Hi guys. thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Julia says, I woke up at 5 a.m. and waited to get here and had difficulties Aww. getting in. So glad that um, you're here, Julia, with us. Um, awesome, awesome. And we will be doing a live psychic reading at the end. We actually have a caller this morning that we'll be taking in just a few moments. Bridget from California, if she is still hanging on the line there, we'll uh, jump in to talk, chat with her in a minute. And we also have people in our chat room over on Zoom. So if you have, and Pam says uh, she's in Portland. Awesome, Pam, thanks for joining us here. Personal and love relationship blocks, planning definitely in order as well. Perfect, perfect, all right. And if um, anyone has a psychic or medium question, you can go ahead and throw that in there. And when we have a chance, we'll come back and take a peek at those. And so let's uh, take a moment to talk about Jacob's channel. Uh, again, Jacob talked about uh, some uncertain times coming. You know, often with change, we experience that. So it's nothing new. And right. absolutely nothing to be afraid of, most definitely. But it is important to plan. And I really loved how Jacob talked about um, living beyond your means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't hear that at all. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you tuned it out. <laughs> this is not the time. This is not the time to live beyond your means, people. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's like the taskmaster, master. And Jacob was saying the same thing. He said, get it together. Um, take a minute, stop and take a minute. And I know um, Terry's team talked about this too. Observe, watch, what are you doing? Get that budget out and start writing down every single day where you're spending your money. And then take a moment to plan better, to make some uh, permanent changes, to prepare so that uh, when the shit hits the fan, if you will, um, you're ready. And it's not a big deal that because there are people that thrive during those times. And the people that thrive are the people that are ready. Any thoughts, Terry? Yeah, actually, what um, connected with me again was that was when Jacob talked about um, feeling safe and how that safety actually produces security in yourself. And that can definitely happen by planning in advance. So when something, God forbid, does happen, you have that security because of that plan. So therefore, you feel safe, you see. So it's like they're kind of 
they, they're married to each other. It's a really great relationship. And that's something that definitely called to me. And I really, really enjoyed hearing that. And it made me feel safe and secure. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know, I know. It's, you know, we're just doing the best we can here. Susan, any thoughts on Terry's channeling or uh, what Jacob had to say? Um, okay, well, I liked when uh, I'm going to jump over. Do you want me to jump over to Terry? Whatever you want. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I can jump over. The, the fact that she was saying, yeah, <laughs> the fact that she was saying is spending time learning about yourself because she was saying, you know, you're always moving forward when you're planning and you're preparing. And I think momentum is really important for us, especially when we speak not just our personal lives, but careers, all of that is it's like you don't want to be stagnant. Um, I had somebody, I recently heard them say, I have not changed in 20 years. And I'm like, that is so sad. That broke my heart. Could you imagine? Yeah. To me, it's like we should constantly be this beautiful evolution, pushing forward, changing, shifting. Yeah. And he, he or I'm sorry, your angelic guides really, really touched on that. Yeah. And trust, I know a big piece of that uh, channeled message too was trusting that your plans will move forward and grow. Um, and planning gives you more confidence. Planning helps you move forward and embrace those opportunities, which I thought was a really, really important important message because I know when I'm flying by the seat of my pants and I don't have a plan in place that I am more prone to worry about things and I'm quicker to fall into that um, that of fear. <laughs> Any thoughts, Terry? <laughs> You know, it was interesting because what, you know, as you channel, you're feeling information too. You're not just giving it. So to me, it sort of felt like the team was talking about like what the definition of luck could be, which is when like preparation and opportunity meet, right? So let's say, I mean, out here, everybody's an actor, right? Or whatever, they're in Hollywood. So there are a lot of times they have their information or they have a commercial or something that they can give to somebody when they meet somebody. So you, it's like being prepared for when that opportunity arises. So that's a very lucky thing to happen. So you can have your big break or, or whatever. I mean, you can, it's, it's, it's just being prepared for you never know when and for what. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like a negative bad thing either. It could be like, oh my gosh, you know, I just won the lottery or whatever. And I was prepared. I know exactly how I'm going to spend my money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. that. And that's what it right. felt like to me. Like they were kind of giving a different twist of like, this is actually, this could be what luck could mean, you know? Absolutely. So, absolutely. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and take a caller. We've got Bridget from California over on our own times radio um, platform. Good morning, Bridget. Welcome. I can. You are crystal clear. And Bridget's just saying hello this morning. How can we help today? Uh, uh, someone else is perfectly fine. Okay. May I have her first so name and his first name? And hold, oh, Susan would like the first name? Yeah, thank you. Yes, please. Oh. So we have Aubrey, and I think we just did a reading for Aubrey last weekend, or last week. So we're going to ask you, Bridget, to choose a different question. Otherwise, we can go to another caller. Okay, so Bridget's asking about her health and her finances. Okay. Okay, Bridget, I'm going to jump in first, and I'm looking at your health, because to me, energetically, it feels um, like I'm looking at your aura, and it just looks like it's a little bit closer to your body than it should be. Um, I feel as though you need to be taking a little bit, I'm really drawn to like kale and spinach, so I feel like there may be like some kind of iron deficiency with the things that you're consuming. Would you understand that? Okay, because it feels to me like, um, even if you could add, as weird as it sounds, um, like a juice, not a fruit, but a vegetables in the morning, I feel like that would help you a great deal. 
Um, and it just feels like it would expand your energy and allow you to sit in your power better. And I know that sounds really weird, but just, just go with me on this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Bridget, for um, calling in this morning. We have another um, reading request from our chat room over at our Zoom platform. So we've got Pam, and she is requesting a reading around a current relationship with a boyfriend. And Pam, if you can put his first name in there, that is helpful for us. And she says, once some personal clutter for each of us, can this work or should the belief in the possibility be released? Okay, so we're going to um, pass this to Terry if you are feeling any... Any okay, so I just want to make Terry? sure I'm understanding the, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure I'm understanding the question. Ben, do you see there. in the chat? Yeah, but I want to make sure that I'm understanding the question because I, um, so she wants to know about personal clutter for each of them. Is that, is that it? No, uh, well, should I stay or should I go? Oh, okay. Um, okay. So I have to say that for me, it does feel like there is a resistance between you two and it feels more of like compatibility issues. So it doesn't feel like he's a bad guy or you're a bad gal. It feels like there is a blockage of energy moving forward between you guys. And it just feels like, it just, it just feels like it's taking its toll on you. Um, so hopefully you understand that, but it's, it, it gets you into your head a lot, which causes just even more of this rolling forward sensation of like, should I, shouldn't I? So it's all, you're staying in this vicious circle of should I, shouldn't I? And you're thinking it too much instead of feeling it too much. So are, ask yourself, are you guys truly compatible? Get really clear with that and get fully honest with yourself and see if he fits into your compatibility realm, because it feels like that's where the blockage is. So hopefully that answered your question. All right. Awesome. And it looks like we are out of time. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us here this morning on Angel Talk Tuesday. I'm Julie Geigel with Susan Schuler and Terry Huberman. And you can follow Angel Talk over on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. If you haven't yet, go to the Apple Podcasts or YouTube and subscribe, rate, and review this episode. Join us next week for our latest energy forecast on Angel Talk Tuesday. Thank you for listening, everyone. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great week.